you don't know me I'm stranger Dave and today I wanted to show you a video of a red-tailed hawk in our neighborhood now we were out for a walk and we saw this hawk carrying a squirrel now I realize some of this is a little graphic and it might upset some people and I'm sorry about that uh, sometimes nature isn't always pretty but uh, we have red-tailed hawks living around our city and I tell you if there weren't things like red-tailed hawks to limit the number of squirrels we would probably have squirrels everywhere so a red-tailed hawk has to eat this particular uh, animal this hawk uh, is probably a male I'm judging from the size and fairly young uh, during one part of the video you can see his tail and there's still some banding on the tail the adult red tail has more or less a red tail it's chestnut brown red and there is a band right at the end of the tail you can see the, the you know the banding all the way down the tail there which indicates that's a younger bird and I said male because I think even though it's a large bird overall it's a little on the, the smaller side for a red tail and in hawks red tail hawks the females are larger lots of birds of prey the females are uh, 20 to 30 percent larger than the males and that goes for uh, eagles uh, owls most of the hawks and not so much in vultures in this video um, I tried to get closer it's not real good quality uh, I did not have a tripod the first videos are using an older camera that had a uh, pretty powerful zoom I could go up to 40x magnification and I didn't want to get too close because I didn't want to spook the hawk also there are a lot of little twigs on this tree and I think the camera wanted to focus on the twigs a lot of times so eventually I got around to a position where I could see the hawk better without the twigs and you get a better view uh, but getting a better view means you get to see more of the squirrel being eaten and that's a little on the gory side and I'm not posting this to shock people it's uh, like I say it's nature it's nature right around us and uh, like I say as the video goes on it gets better at the very the very last part of the video uh, it was done with a different camera that I had and it's higher definition but the magnification the zoom on that camera was only 4x so even though I'm I got close enough to where I'm practically standing under the tree without the squirrel taking off it's not real close but it is higher def so uh, this particular bird and there's a little better view of him there good looking animal it's eating a squirrel uh, eastern gray squirrel uh, when we saw the hawk it practically bowled us over because it was in a tree right on the corner of where we were walking and all of a sudden there's just a big flurry of wings in our faces practically so it was, it was uh, you know pretty exciting it was a bit of a shock and then we saw where it had landed and I went and got my camera did not get a tripod just kind of grabbed it and ran and came back and overall I think the video is pretty good um, I try not to focus too much on the the dead squirrel unfortunately it's being eaten so it's right there but what we're looking at really is the is the bird and the bird the the red tail hawk is a necessary uh, part of our local ecology uh, they you know they eat rodents uh, some of those rodents that they eat are squirrels uh, they will also eat 
rabbits and sometimes if you have a small pet unfortunately they, they will go after that uh, they have been known to take kittens a full-grown cat that would be a bit of a risk birds of prey don't want to get injured because an injury usually means death if you can't hunt you can't eat if you can't eat you die so they're pretty pretty smart in that respect they, they're not going to take on something that's just too much for them now sometimes a younger bird like this one I said is a younger bird they will you know go after you know prey that's too much for them and that's how they learn uh, this bird has probably gotten squirrels before I doubt if this is his first squirrel but uh, I could have you know just played music like some people do I notice I just you know something dramatic and then just play the whole video but I wanted to give you some knowledge if you have any questions feel free to uh, put them in the uh, the comments and I will try to answer them but uh, the, this is a red-tailed hawk and this I, you know there's lots of different color phases of the red-tailed hawk all over the United States this is what I think of as being the typical red-tailed hawk and when it when it's uh, a year or two older it would have that nice reddish brown tail with a dark band at the tip and uh, they're they're very good hunters I mean you can see in a couple of these shots those talons and uh, it's a very impressive bird they're uh, very commonly used in falconry they're one of the largest uh, largest hawks uh, Budios or Butio, however you pronounce it, <laughs> I think it's Butio, is the uh, family of hawks this is in. We have some other hawks, as a matter of fact, one of them showed up while I was filming, but I did not get any video of it. A Cooper hawk came to investigate, and they're a long, slim exhibitor. They're bird hawks. They, uh, you've probably, if you have a bird feeder, you've probably seen a Cooper hawk or its smaller cousin, the sharp shin hawk come in and try to grab one of your birds and sometimes they're successful um, when I was young I raised racing homer pigeons and occasionally I would lose one to a cooper hawk it's like I said before that's that's nature it happens so this bird is really making a meal of the squirrel I mean it's just you know it, it pulls off just a little tiny bits at a time but I think towards the end of the video and this is all chronological I uh, I didn't uh, switch things around so this is all in, in the order that it happened so towards the very end of the video you probably will notice that his um, the crop area which is right below his neck is kind of bulging out because he's got a lot of squirrel meat in that crop and you know if, if he's got a good meal there that'll last him for a few days being warm-blooded like people they have to eat more regularly than say a snake would snakes can go sometimes months without eating but uh, birds need to eat fairly regular oh, very handsome bird I wish the quality of the video was better. Now, now this is the higher definition video, but like I said, it's farther away. And one of the problems too, it's an, it was an overcast day in northern Ohio, and you really couldn't, you know, the one thing about video is you, you have to have a lot of light. The more light, the better. And I had kind of that bright sky behind him. It was midday bright overcast sky and he's kind of silhouetted it would have been good if he had had a light shining right on him um, you know if I had some kind of artificial light and shined it on him it probably would have spooked him 
So, and that would not have been natural. So this is pretty much how he looked to me as I stood on the ground. And you can see a house in the background because this is right in a residential neighborhood. Now, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you've learned something from it. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I need all the support I can get. Just starting out here. It's been a while since I've uh, posted my last video, but I want to get at least one a week. And it's been over a week, but uh, you know the holidays and all kind of inter interfere with that. So this is my red-tailed hawk eating an eastern gray squirrel. I hope you liked it. Once again, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks, and goodbye.